How many days would an Illinois substitute teacher have to work to qualify for some kind of retirement benefit? Are there specific breakpoints after that? The interesting thing about retirement benefits for teachers, and in this case, substitute teachers, is that they're often tied into the state's broader public employee retirement system. In Illinois, substitute teachers qualify for pension benefits through the Teachers Retirement System of the State of Illinois, TRS. Qualifying for a pension isn't just about days worked, but also about years of creditable service. You need at least five years of creditable service to even get a pension. What's neat, or daunting depending on how you look at it, is that a year of creditable service doesn't necessarily mean 365 days of work. Here's the kicker. Each school year, made up of about 170 days, can count as a year of service. More specifically, you don't have to work every single day of the school year to earn credit for a full year. In Illinois, if you teach for at least 88 days in the school year, that can count as half a year of creditable service. Work 120 days and voila, you've earned a full year's credit. Once you hit that magic five-year mark, you're technically vested in the TRS. But let's not pop the champagne bottles yet. Vested doesn't mean you get to retire on a beach at 35. It means that when you reach retirement age, which for full benefits is 67, or 62 with reduced benefits, you'll have some monthly pension payouts to look forward to. There are indeed specific breakpoints after you're vested. The more years you put in, the more generous the pension calculation becomes. It's a formula that factors in your years of service, final average salary, and a 2.2% multiplier. The formula looks a bit like this. Years of creditable service x final average salary x 2.2%. Stick around for 10, 20, 30 years, and obviously the multiplier effect becomes larger. It's a lot to think about, and the specifics can be about as clear as mud. It's worth checking out the TRS website or chatting with a benefits specialist to get the lowdown on your individual situation. And hey, who doesn't enjoy the delightful labyrinth of pension details? Oh, and quick pro tip, always keep an eye on any legislation that could affect pensions. You never know when the rules of the game might change. Stay informed, stay involved. TRS website, TRS Illinois, https semicolon slash slash One last thing, always keep these details in perspective with your overall financial wellness and retirement plan. Diversify and maybe even chat with a financial advisor if you can. After all, the goal isn't just to retire, but to retire comfortably, right?